approximately 43 miles, 70 kilometers, southeast of Mexico City, hidden among the mountains of central Mexico, lies one of the most dangerous and unpredictable volcanic giants of the Americas. Popocatépetl, whose Nahuatl name means Smoking Mountain, is not just an ordinary volcano. This colossus, standing 17,700 feet, 5,400 meters, tall represents a direct threat to more than 25 million people living within a 62-mile, 100-kilometer radius around it. In recent weeks, something extraordinary and alarming has been happening in this region, putting scientists worldwide on maximum alert. The volcano registered more than 148 exhalations in just 24 hours during November, accompanied by ash emissions that reached an impressive 19,700 feet, 6,000 meters in height. This intense activity forced the temporary closure of Mexico City's Benito Juarez International Airport for more than five hours, causing the cancellation of 22 flights and directly affecting 46 million annual passengers. Mexico's National Center for Disaster Prevention raised the alert level to yellow phase three, just one step below the high danger red level, a decision not taken lightly by Mexican specialists. But Popocatépetl is not alone in this destructive dance of nature. More than 5,000 miles, 8,000 kilometers away in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, another volcanic giant awakens with a force that defies human comprehension. Kilauea, in the Hawaiian archipelago, recently completed its 32nd eruptive episode since December 2024, expelling lava jets that exceeded 1,000 feet, 305 meters, in height. This frequency of activity is considered by volcanologists as one of the most intense ever recorded in modern times, rivaling only the events of 1983. While these two volcanic giants roar simultaneously on opposite sides of the planet, a third devastating geological force has just rewritten the landscape in the peaceful Italian region of Lake Como. On November 2nd, 2025, around 4.50 p.m., two enormous rock masses of approximately 880 cubic feet, 25 cubic meters, each violently broke away from the mountainous slope dominating the small town of Brienno. One of these gigantic masses crossed through the wall of the historic Madonna del Ronco church as if it were made of paper, destroying centuries of cultural heritage in a matter of seconds. Professor Jose Luis Macias, a volcanology specialist at the National Autonomous University of Mexico, made a statement that echoes through the international scientific community when he affirmed that Popocatépetl's current behavior is somewhat more intense than on previous occasions, and we are observing something unprecedented in our modern era of monitoring. On this observation is not just about the Mexican volcano, but reflects an emerging global pattern where multiple geological systems appear to be activating simultaneously, suggesting deep connections that science is still trying to fully understand. Kilauea, located on the big island of Hawaii, represents one of the most visible and spectacular manifestations of Earth's mantle activity on our planet. This volcano, considered by scientists as the world's most active, has demonstrated an eruptive intensity that leaves even the most experienced volcanologists impressed with its persistence and destructive power. Since the beginning of its current eruptive phase in December 2024, Kilauea has completed 32 distinct eruptions, each contributing to constantly reshape the Hawaiian landscape through the deposition of millions of cubic meters of basaltic lava. The Halima'uma'u crater, located at the volcano summit, has become the epicenter of this extraordinary activity, receiving magma from Earth's interior at an impressive rate of approximately 140 cubic feet, 4 cubic meters, per second. This constant and uninterrupted flow inflates the lower magmatic chamber, forcing incandescent magma to rise through fissures until reaching the surface in pyrotechnic spectacles visible from miles away. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory documented that the most recent lava fountains reached 98 feet, 30 meters in height, creating incandescent arcs visible from multiple points in Volcanoes National Park. During the May 2025 eruption, specifically in the 23rd episode, the volcano demonstrated its maximum destructive capacity by expelling lava columns that exceeded 1,000 feet, 305 meters in height, a mark that rivals the world's tallest skyscrapers. This particular eruption began at 4.15 a.m. local time, transforming the darkness of the Hawaiian dawn into a spectacle of orange light that could be observed from Honolulu, located more than 199 miles, 320 kilometers away. Volcanic emissions of this magnitude are not only visually impressive, 
but also represent massive energy releases equivalent to multiple nuclear bombs. Ken Hahn, director of the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, offered a humble perspective on the magnitude of these events when he declared that it's like we're ants trying to understand how an elephant moves. This analogy perfectly captures the monumental scale of the geological forces in action, where each Kalawea eruption releases enough energy to power an entire city for weeks. The volume of volcanic material expelled during the most intense episodes is sufficient to build three highways with adequate width to completely circle the globe, demonstrating the truly planetary scale of these phenomena. Steve Lundblad, a geologist at the University of Hawaii at Hilo, observed that the lava fountains have recently decreased in height, possibly because the fissures have widened, reducing the internal pressure of the volcanic system. This observation is crucial for understanding how volcanoes behave during periods of intense activity, where small changes in opening geometry can result in dramatic variations in eruption height and intensity. Continuous monitoring through a sophisticated network of seismic and geodetic sensors allows scientists to anticipate several days in advance when new eruptive activity is likely to emerge. While the two volcanic giants dominated international headlines with their power demonstrations, an equally devastating but completely different event shook the tranquil Lake Como region in Italy. The landslide that hit Briano on November 2nd represents a brutal reminder that Earth can cause destruction even without direct participation of volcanoes or earthquakes. The heavy rains that preceded the disaster completely saturated the soil of the rocky slope dominating the small town, creating unstable conditions that culminated in the simultaneous detachment of two gigantic rock masses. Don Paolo Barocco, Briano's parish priest, offered a deeply human perspective on the tragedy when he declared that the Madonna protected us because usually the mass and prayers for the deceased were held during the afternoon. But this year I decided to move them to the morning and in retrospect it was providential. This apparently simple change in religious scheduling may have prevented a humanitarian catastrophe of unimaginable proportions since dozens of faithful used to gather in the Madonna del Ronco church exactly at the time when the gigantic mass crossed through its historic walls. The church, built in the early 18th century, represented centuries of history and religious devotion that were destroyed in a matter of seconds. The firefighters worked tirelessly to recover sacred goods and artwork from the damaged church, including the precious Madonna statue and numerous objects of invaluable historical value. The first mass, with its 880 cubic feet, 25 cubic meters in volume, stopped near the municipal cemetery, while the second continued its destructive trajectory until completely crossing through the church's perimeter wall. Local authorities immediately implemented rigorous security measures, closing access to the cemetery and establishing an exclusion zone around the entire affected area to prevent additional injuries caused by possible new rock detachments. The connection between these three apparently isolated events may not be immediately obvious, but scientists around the world are beginning to identify patterns that suggest simultaneous activation of multiple geological systems. The Pacific Ring of Fire, which houses both Popocatepetl and Kalawea, has demonstrated activity levels that significantly exceed historical averages of the last 50 years. Simultaneously, geological instability events like Brienno's landslide are becoming more frequent in European mountainous regions, possibly due to changes in climate patterns affecting rocky soil stability. Professor Marco Bianchi, a geology specialist at the University of Milan, offered an intriguing perspective when he suggested that we are witnessing an epoch of global geological reactivation, where systems that remained relatively stable for decades are simultaneously entering phases of greater activity. This observation is supported by seismic data showing increases in the frequency of small tremors around the world as well as measurable changes in Earth's crust deformation patterns detected by geodetic satellites. If this hypothesis is confirmed, we would be living through a period comparable to the great epochs of geological activity that marked significant transitions in the planet's history, where apparently isolated events are part of a larger pattern of global transformation.